29.2, Part 2, Complex Plant Tissues. So the first tissue we will discuss is the dermal tissue. Now dermal tissue is like the skin of the plant. It offers protection. It helps prevent water loss. And it's made up of up of epidermis in young plants and also in non-woody plants and periderm in woody plants. If we look here at this picture, um, if you look at the leaf, the dermal tissue would be the outside part of the leaf here, located in the red color. In the stem, it's on the outside part here in red. And then again in the root, it is the red part on the outside. In woody plants, um, the periderm is considered the dermal tissue, which uh, is part of the bark um, that you see on trees. Uh, root hairs we will discuss in a later, later section of the chapter. However, while we're discussing dermal tissue, um, epidermal cells are what make up dermal tissue. And root hairs are little extensions of the dermal epidermal cells. So you can imagine an, an epidermal cell kind of stretched out to form the root hairs. Um, we mentioned dermal tissue helps prevent water loss. Uh, in leaves and stems, the epidermis forms a waxy cuticle to help prevent water loss. If you remember from organic molecules, uh, wax is a lipid and lipids are nonpolar, so they repel water. You can see on this leaf here, um, it has a waxy surface, which is the cuticle, and uh, not only does the water beat up that lands on the on the root, on the leaf, uh, but it also helps prevent water from evaporating from the plant. Uh, the second type of tissue is vascular tissue. Uh, there's two kinds of vascular tissue in plants. We have the xylem and the phloem. The xylem, uh, or both of these, are responsible for long distance transport of materials between roots and shoots. Uh, the first one is the xylem. It's where water and dissolved minerals from roots to shoots. So this is a picture of a carrot and the water is going to move from the roots up the carrot to the leaves uh, where it's needed for photosynthesis. So xylem is the transportation of mainly water. And then we have phloem which is uh, transporting organic nutrients or sugars from where they are made to where they are needed uh, usually in roots and sites of growth maybe like fruits or flowers or something and so the phloem is going to move sugars basically or sap and the third type of tissue is ground tissue ground tissue um, is pretty important for the plant it is where photosynthesis occurs uh, food storage support for the plant uh, protection, regeneration, and it's made of parenchyma cells, colenchyma cells, and sclerenchyma cells. If we look at this picture here, this is a cross section of a plant. Um, on the outside we have the dermal tissue, the epidermis. The inside we have our vascular tissue, the xylem and the phloem. And between the area we have the ground tissue. Now, uh, dicot plants are going to be organized this way where we have the epidermis or the dermal tissue on the outside then we have the vascular tissue um, in vascular bundles so on the outside we have the phloem located in brown and then we have the xylem in blue now that makes up one vascular bundle to transport water or nutrients for the plant then the area um, not located in the dermal tissue or the vascular tissue is the ground tissue. Now the ground tissue, if it's inside of the vascular tissue, is called a pith. If it's located on the outside part, that's called the cortex. So if it's uh, inside the vascular tissue, it's the pith. And if it's outside the vascular tissue, it's called the cortex. Uh, here's just a review. If we look at a cross section of the leaf, we have the dermal tissue in the red on the outside. Um, the purple represents the, or blue, represents the vascular tissue. Now why you see it in this way in a leaf is because these are the veins that you would see on a leaf. The veins um, located here are transporting water and sap, sugars, uh, to and from the plant. Then uh, the light blue part is the 
ground tissue where photosynthesis would be occurring. We look here at the stem. Again, we have the vascular bundles made up of xylem and phloem. We have the dermal tissue, the epidermis on the outside, the pith on the inside, the cortex on the outside. And then in the root, we have the dermal tissue, the ground tissue, and the vascular tissue. In the root, the vascular tissue combines to form a cylinder opposed to vascular bundles in the stem. I'll just skip those. Here we have um, another picture. I believe this is in a root. We have our epidermis here on the outside, our ground tissues, and then our vascular tissues in the middle.